So anyway, uh, so uh, bartender here at Growlers USA brought me a sampler of the Rebel Kettle Alcoholic, and and I tasted it and it felt very light. Uh, it, and I didn't, I, I didn't ask them what the ABV was. And I looked it up on the menu here. It's eight and a half percent, hundred IBUs, at a little odd on this one. Considered an Imperial IPA. An intensely hot, unfiltered, unfiltered. Okay, so let me run this by you guys. This is an unfiltered IPA. Can you see that? Oh, uh, I apologize for spilling. <laughs> Can you see that? Darn it, I hate when I do that. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, the point I was trying to make is just because something's unfiltered doesn't mean it has to look like you just passed a kidney stone or mix a quarter cup of flour in your beer. I, I, I get the trend is that New England cloudy as hell idea. I get that people want their beer to taste like some sort of fruit juice. I just don't think that we have to accept that as just that's just the way things are. You can have an unfiltered beer that doesn't look like you just passed a kidney stone, is all I'm saying. Man. But, if, you know, it's, so many craft beer drinkers aren't really true craft beer drinkers. They're just trendy craft beer drinkers. They're only here for whatever specific trend. I mean, some people want to drink Miller Lite all day long, but they want to be seen in public with a specific beer. You know those guys, right? Those aren't real craft beer drinkers. Those are posers, man. So here I am with a beer that's eight and a half percent, 100 IBUs, intensely hop, unfiltered IPA with expressive aroma and flavors of citrus, a pine, a soft mouth feel to the bitter finish. All right. So you're going to get a lot of orange. I personally get a lot of tangerine out of this beer on the aroma. Orange, tangerine, take your pick. You're going to get a hint of grapefruit. You're going to get some pine. The, the, the flavors are intensely citrus early on, giving way to intensely pine on the back end. You know, I gotta tell you, I like a beer like this because, well, because it has to mention so many of those really cloudy ass, tastes like orange juice beers are just one fucking dimension. We don't need that in our lives, man. <laughs> Don't let some trend tell you what you should like or what you shouldn't like. Like what you like. And don't just like something because it's trendy because that makes you a poser. <laughs> I wore ripped jeans in the 80s when I was in my 20s. I'm not doing it now in my 50s because that makes somebody a poser. I mean, don't, you, know, don't, you guys hear what I'm saying? Don't follow the trends just because we can. In fact, as soon as it becomes a trend, quit doing it. Because that's what the followers do. You got these followers that are follow that follow every trend, and they tell you they're not followers. Well, if you're doing those things, you're a follower and you're a poser. Don't do it. So, anyways, in conclusion, <laughs> don't be an ass. Have a mind for yourself and drink a beer. I, actually, I got to tell you, uh, this menu uh, is incredible what these guys have on tap. Uh, I'm really bummed that I got caught up in my own world and flipped the beer around and spilled a big old dog. <laughs> but anyways, uh, alcoholic beer is crazy, man. I was actually going to order the Clown Shoes Barley one, Urban Barrel Ace Barley one, but the guy gave me a sample of this Rebel Kettle out of Little Rock, and it's the first beer I've ever had from them, man. Eight and a half percent of how I ever use. Yeah, it's a damn fine beer, I gotta tell you. Yeah, you know what, if you want your beer to look like you just had a flower to it, hey, go for it. You know, if you want your beer to taste just like orange juice, hey, have at it. But if you want a beer that actually tastes good and has dimension and may not be trendy, well, I'm going to recommend this one. I am kind of beer whisperer.
purveyor of wisdom, all around good guy, and prolific beer drinker. See how I switch that around to keep you guessing? Uh, <laughs> I hope I've irritated at least somebody that likes those flower-ass beers.